Hey guys! Wait. <laughs> hey guys! I'm finally back in America after being away for nine months. And today we are making you low carb spaghetti and meatballs. So, so let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is dust the garlic. Half is gonna be for the zoodles and the other half is gonna be for the meatballs. <gasps> wow. Wow. Ta-da! Oh, wow. <laughs> Set the garlic aside for later. Okay guys, now we're gonna prepare the pasta. Today, we're using zucchinis to make zoodles because they're much higher in nutrients and lower in carbohydrates, but of course, you can use pasta if you like. I'll figure out the top, a little butt. Get a little zoodler. You can get a link to this in the description. And you are just gonna spin and make zoodles. Please hold while I do this for the next 10 minutes. We'll leave the macros below for just the meatballs and sauce, and you can calculate your own macros if you would like to use regular pasta instead of zoodles. Okay guys, if you've watched the chicken palm video, you would know Steph's chef trick, which is put a fork in the back of the zoodler, and then you can rotate, like so, and you can get more out of it without hurting your fingers. Isn't that so freaking smart? Thank you so much. Thumbs up for Steph. <laughs> And then obviously you're gonna st get stuck and that's stuck. it. That's it. I got an extra little bit out of it. Ooh. Perfect. So profesh. Set the zoodles aside, and our steps to make the meatballs. This meatball recipe is actually my grandma's recipe, and every Sunday we used to go to my grandma's house for spaghetti and meatballs. So this is an Italian grandma meatball recipe. You can't go wrong with one of those. Here's a clip to see how cute she is and why we're using so much garlic. I'm adding three cloves of garlic. If you're Italian, you could take it. If you're not, you're a chicken. <laughs> Mmm, does that smell good? <laughs> Garlic is good for you. Whisk one egg in a bowl. Obviously, with a fork. So nice, Steffi hates whisks. Mm hmm. That's right. To the egg, we're gonna add in the beef. And you can use. Uh oh. <laughs> you can use bifin. <laughs> bifin. You can use bison, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you'd like. Oh, kangaroo. Add a teaspoon of Italian seasonings, Himalayan salt, cracked black pepper, half of the garlic that Adam diced up before, and instead of using breadcrumbs, we're gonna use almond flour. Now mix it all together. If you wanna be Italian, Italians, I know Italians, and they use love when they cook. So you have to put love into your meatballs. You gotta get it all around, you gotta oh, work it. Oh, that's what get it, it all is. Together. Oh, okay. Some of you are gonna ask what flour to use if you don't have almond flour. I'm going to show you some examples now. You could use coconut flour, you could use oat flour, you could use brown rice flour, you could use regular wheat flour, or you could use the almond flour. We're using almond flour because unlike the other flours, all of these ones have about 20 grams of carbs in a quarter of a cup, whereas almond flour only has 6 grams of carbs in a quarter of a cup. And a lot of protein. So that when we're at the meatballs, that's 50 grams each. If you don't care about being super precise, you can just eyeball and make 21 meatballs because there's gonna be three per serving and we're making seven meals. So 21 meatballs. So you wanna make them really round and bowly. Cup your hands, cup your hands like this. My meatballs. Wow. Nice balls. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. So now you guys are experts now, we're going to upgrade you guys, we're going to cook two things at once. So we're going to get both pans going at the same time, so we're going to have one on high heat, one on a flat, more flat pan, and one more like a walkie style pan, of course, a walkie, you, a walkie style, 
You can find the ones we use in the links in the description. So to both of these, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. And this flat one here is for the meatballs. And make sure that we're separating the batch in half so we don't overwhelm the pan. So we're gonna do a cook half in that at once. And this one is gonna be all for the noodles at once. Cause the noodles kinda like half fry and half steam. To the back pan, we're gonna start with the other half of the garlic that we haven't used yet. In we go, bit of a stir, get that going over there. So we're gonna fry up this garlic for about 30 seconds. And then we are gonna go straight in with our zoodles. In we go. So now you're just gonna to toss it all together. You wanna to toss that oil and garlic around the pan, get it all through the zoodles. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. You know, so Himalayan salt. And we have a cracked black pepper. So you're just trying to soften the noodles. You haven't going to cook them too much, otherwise they will go really watery. So give that a toss. And so now we're going to put it down to low, and let that sit while we work on the meatballs. Okay, we're going to make sure the oil's all around our pan. As you can see, it's starting to get really hot, and we can now go in with the balls. So, trick to doing meatballs or anything we have to put individual items in is work in a bit of a circle, so you know which ones you put in first. If you have a spider screen, I would recommend putting it over the top because you are going to get some oil spitting everywhere. Okay, now while they're browning, we're going to add one cup of red sauce to our noodles. Lightly coat them. Now we're going to turn these balls. Okay, keep rotating them. Now that balls are done, we're gonna put them aside. There's gonna be enough fat in there from the first batch. And repeat the same process. So, when the second batch is done, we're gonna add in the first batch. That's an easy. There we go. And now we're gonna add in the sauce. And turn the heat to low. Stir it all in. Wow. To a ladle and try to move the sauce all around. Yep. Get the sauce all over. Once we've mixed it all in, we're going to let the meatballs sit and simmer in the sauce for a few minutes. Divide the zoodles evenly among the containers. Don't add any of the extra liquid to the containers because it'll just make it watery. Now add three meatballs to each container. Top with the sauce that you cooked the meatballs in. When choosing a marinara sauce, make sure you choose one that has no added sugar in the ingredients. There should be a little bit of sugar in the nutrition content because tomatoes have sugar, but there shouldn't be any added sugar. Easy as that, guys. So if you'd like to add some Parmesan cheese to this, you can. Just make sure that you measure it out and add it to your own macros. That's right. I want to say thank you to everyone for love and support to get me back here in America. 
Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends who love spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. Just because you are trying to eat healthier doesn't mean you still can't have your favorite foods. Check out all the social media posts you guys posted this week. Make sure to hashtag Pick Couple Cooks and tag Pick Couple Cooks if you're posting on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great week. Bye, Bye guys. Namaste. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.